So I'm still the production coordinator, and what I want to do now is set up naming conventions and other rules to keep things outside of Flix organized and consistent. As a production coordinator, I've been granted administrator privileges so I can access the management console. This will give us access to things such as user and group management. I want to stop for a second and just make a quick note that if you're interested in more detailed information on all these settings, please have a look at the Foundry Learn section from foundry.com. And under Flix, you'll see a series called Collaborating on an Animatic Remotely. And this will go into detail for these settings. You can, of course, also refer to the documentation. Okay, so the studio settings are a subset of the user preferences, and these are things that can be driven and enforced by the studio. We'll just quickly set ones we need for this webinar. Again, you can refer to the previous webinar for more detail. So under third-party apps and general, let's go ahead and make Storyboard Pro our sketching tool. Let's look at editorial and make sure Premiere is the only editorial package that Flix can publish to. We can do this by having this setting enforced at the studio level. We want to do the same for the clip and sequence naming conventions to ensure consistency. Same thing for the publish path. We want to ensure that every delivery ends up in the same location for editorial to retrieve. Enforcing these at a studio level will lock these preferences and users without administration privileges will not be able to change them. Down below here, these are the naming chips. This is where we construct what paths and file names will look like when they resolve at a publish time. We can see some examples here. We have date, show tracking code, and so on. Flix has a logical convention already set up, but you can modify it to something custom for your studio. For the Premiere options, you want to sit down with your editor and agree on preferred settings and enforce them so that no matter who publishes them, all deliveries will be consistent. For the marker type, you can choose between timeline and clip markers. We will use timeline. And we'll let Flix highlight new clips in Premiere. Finally, for export paths, at times when you need to export PSDs or QuickTime or other file formats for whatever reason, you can ensure that all exports are organized and enforce them at a studio level if needed. If I load my user preferences as a user, these will be grayed out since they have been enforced by the studio. Now let's look at the Storyboard Pro options. We want to make sure that Flix knows where to find Storyboard Pro. Since we'll be mainly using Storyboard Pro, let's also enforce how camera moves are handled. We're going to choose to hold first frame as rendering all the camera moves when we import back into Flix can be time consuming. So this is a good way to preview in Flix while maintaining the camera move once it's delivered to Premiere. Okay, and now all our settings are set up and enforced at studio level when needed. And now we can go ahead and get to work.